Right, Jordan, I know you spoke to folks who suffered down there in southern Utah near Enoch, but also out there in Tooele County. Alana, crazy day for both counties. Absolutely torrential rainfall, rainfall that is here in Tooele County and also just a couple hours south uh, in Iron County and more uh, specifically in Enoch. But behind me, several storefronts and several businesses flooded and it'll be like that for the next couple of days while they have that cleanup process. But down in Enoch, they got more than 100 million gallons of water of rainfall between yesterday and today. But you just have to see the video to see what community members experienced in Enoch today. A car drifting away, hitting another car because of the heavy rainfall. Yeah, this is the worst I've ever seen it here in Enoch, yeah. Enoch experiencing one of its worst storms in city history. I mean, just take a look at the video. Swampy streets, rain-covered roads, and flooding. There was just, you know, water coming down the sides of the street, and we're like, oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't even the half of it. In Tooele County, this happened. Well, this is Utah monsoon season. Storm you know, it's pretty kind of frightening a little bit. I've never seen like a an actual store or sewage drain um, overload like that. Michael Hunter is a school teacher who says he will use this flooding video as a learning tool. He teaches geography and has a unit on flooding and mudslides. He says he hasn't seen anything like this since his time living in Tooele. I feel like, you know, we, we've been experiencing this, this drought. We haven't really been seeing um, a lot of rain lately. And just it kind of goes back to I love chasing weather um, and haven't really seen a, a storm this size um, in a good while out here in Utah. So Lindsay Mikesell in Enix says she drove through the rainwater because she wanted to get home. However, that is not safe and not advised. Whenever there is standing or running water, do not drive through it. In Iron County, there was an alert put out today for residents to help fill sandbags and help those get put out throughout the city. And you just heard from Lindsay Mike Sell. She actually sent me this alert from the city government that says, please, general public, if you are not available to help with sandbags, do not come to Enoch. Help cannot get where it's needed because the roads could be full of vehicles. Also here in Tooele County, these businesses, like I mentioned, will take probably a couple weeks for cleanup. And then over in Salt Lake County, they are pretty much one of the same dealing with that flooding too. We have ABC4's reporter Jason Wynn standing by with the latest on that. Jason. Yeah, thank you, George.